Andy. Ready? Fandy. Say it with me. Welcome, folks. I'm Jabby Kowei, joined by Sintel Kowei, and we're looking at Reminis... <laughs> Reminis? Reminiscence. We're looking at Reminiscence, the official trailer with Hugh Jackman, Thandie Newton, Rebecca Ferguson, and Nick Bannister, I believe. Oh, Jack? I don't know. Yes, I think so. Okay, cool. Uh, this is from Warner Brothers Pictures. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe, hit that bell icon, all notifications, and give this video an upvote if you could be so kind. Here we go. Do it! <sighs> You're going on a journey. A journey through me. Uh oh. All you have to do is follow my voice. Global warming? We're closed. I know. I'm sorry it's late. We have time for one more job. I bet you do. <laughs> Old school switch for a hyper technological machine, right? Yeah. Ooh, sexy. When the waters began to rise LA? and war broke out, yeah. nostalgia became a way of life. There wasn't a lot to look forward to. So people began looking back. Nothing is more addictive than the past. No, 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 put me back. Put me back. I understand. She's moved on, and you should too. People don't just vanish. To find where she'd gone, I had to know where she'd been. Hmm. Was she running from the past? We're racing back towards it. Oh! How much did you really know her? How much did you know? Who was she? Who was she when not with me? <laughs> you think you want answers? Well, you don't. Where is she? Where is she? Oh. close can you get before the illusion's broken? Hmm. You're going on a journey. All you have to do is follow my voice. Hmm. That's interesting. That's exciting. That's exciting. All right. Okay. So, Sintel, yeah. please uh, break down for us why we forget things. Well, it has been said that we forget things as a survival technique. Okay. okay. Why is that important? Uh, because if you were a caveman running from a dinosaur or you're hunting, the last thing you need to be doing is reminiscing about some lost love and then a dinosaur pops up and then gobbles you up. And you need to stay focused on task. Right. Right. So sometimes uh, you don't need to relive old memories over and over and over again because you can't move forward. Right. And so I think it's dangerous, quite dangerous to have the ability to go back like that, like Minority Report or no. whatever it might be where you can just recede in time and uh, recede's the wrong word, but just travel backwards to memories that are quite addicting or Inception's another one where right. you, you could just keep going back to those memories yeah. over and over again. And I can see how that can become addicting, yes. especially when you're dealing with loss. Yes. You, why would you want to partake in the present in reality when this is so much cooler over here? Yeah. I've totally had dreams where I'm like, oh my God, I'd rather stay asleep so I can continue hanging out oh, with yeah. that ex-girlfriend or hanging out with my dad who passed away in 2013. Mm. Like, There's always reasons why you'd rather stay in the past right. or in the dream state. It's so obsessive that he's not even able to appreciate this beautiful person right in front of him is yeah. what it looks like. It looks like it's the new love of his life yeah. who's putting up with his dumb ass for some reason you know, <laughs> why are you there, Fandy Newton? Balance. <laughs> Obviously, he's now moving on. Um, and so, yeah, but like, this is a great lesson in like what 
you shouldn't be doing. However, it seems like he's getting rewarded by the end of the film because he is gonna figure out what happened. Daniel Wu, I believe is the name of the actor who I've been watching since I was a kid. He looks like he hasn't aged in 20 years because I remember him in a film all the way back as far as is called Gen X Cops, I believe. I'm gonna okay. look that up. Uh, just to verify that on IMDb. But he's been around a very long time. He started out in Hong Kong and he was in a show that you liked, uh, Into the Badlands. I yes. Uh, Daniel Wu. Yes. Spelled his name he wrong. He's really good in the, in, in, into the Badlands. Into yeah. the Badlands. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me see, make sure I got this guy right. Yeah, Daniel Wu right there. Yeah. New Police Story. Yeah, that was a Jackie Chan film, New Police Story. And then Gen X Cops. Did I get it right? No. Cops? Gen X Cops. Okay. Yeah, that was him. So. Uh, yeah, he's been around a very, very long time. Really cool actor. Really good. He's a really good martial artist, too. Well, at least as well, far least, as we can tell. Yeah, yeah well, but, and at least as far as into the bad lines. Yeah, you know, he looks dope in this film. He is the antagonist in Hugh Jackman's way between him and the love of his life, I guess. That's what it seems like. I'm wondering why they want to keep him from jumping into the past and being stuck on that that high of nostalgia. Yeah. Uh, I'm also curious as to what the hell happened to the world. It's an interesting setting and they play with water a lot. And anytime I see water as a, as a practical, I'm hoping like a lot of that is, is computer generated and not a practical effect because I immediately go to Waterworld as it being one of the most expensive movies of all time mm -hmm. because in order to maintain that practical water, it just blew the budget all out of the, all out of the frame. For water is a funny, thing man titanic did well with it with the abyss did well with it mm -hmm. like why is that important in this that's what I, that's what i can't stop thinking about in this is water that makes the machine work is water surrounding some apocalypse that's happened they keep showing pianos falling through the water they're diving through water uh so it, was i there. don't know but it, it, like we mentioned a moment ago you with minority report mm -hmm. the cogs were inside of a pool of water as well and there must be something tied to like some kind of science that we haven't fully figured out yet, but yeah. we sort of understand. Uh, the only thing I associate with water is um, sensory deprivation, and that's it. Ah. And, and so the ability to completely like float. Yeah. The salt yeah. Water and all that good stuff. Yeah, that's the only thing I would be able to connect with that. Our bodies are mostly made up of water, so maybe there's something there with I mean, it. they are really going over the top with it, though. I mean, I'd say like like 75% of this trailer is dealing with water. There's also the symbolic aspect of it, which is he's drowning in his past. Okay, I can see that as well. You know, he's stuck there. I mean, it looks gorgeous. I mean, this film feels very like- Nolan-ish to me. It does feel Nolan-ish, but like, I, I don't know what the correct term is, okay. but the only one I can come up with is neo-noir. Traditional noir is like black and white, old school days and, and whatnot. And, and neo-noir is kind of like, uh, what's that movie? It was kind of like, came out the same time as The Matrix. It's this guy who's like stuck inside of a city where they keep putting everybody to sleep. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah. it, it's, it's got Kiefer Sutherland as well. You guys know wh what I'm talking about. And that's sort of neo-noir, but this feels like futuristic. So is it like future noir? Mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure how to classify it, but I'm digging it. And I'm not usually into noir films, or at least neo-noir. Traditional noir, I can get behind, but neo-noir I usually hate. This is an instance where it's definitely that, and I'm enjoying it. Uh, as far as like the tech technology that's being used to set some of the scenery, you know how the Mandalorian's using that background that's like one big giant uh, television screen, and they, they can create all of these, these incredible settings without having to use green screens, right? This kind of feels like that, like they're using that technology, a lot of the stuff. So if they are doing that, I'm wondering how quickly they can manipulate the environment and how good it's going to look as compared to like, it's shining off, off, off the actor. I'm looking forward to this because the old technology, in case you didn't know, when they use green screens, it's a very difficult task to clear the palette of all the green. It kind of looks a little bit fake, whereas the Mandalorian, if you've been watching it, they use these screens that are actual real television screens that project a real image that they don't don't have to manipulate in post. This film looks like it's using that type of technology. Dark, Dark City. City, that's what I was thinking, that's it was, was Dark City. Dark City is, is definitely like uh -huh. some kind of futuristic neo-noir thing. If you guys haven't seen Dark City, it's a very, very interesting film. I have not seen it in about 20 years. And yeah. The film's gotta be well over 20, 30 years Yeah, old. and there might be some similar- Like this shot right here that you're yeah. showing right here, that yeah. looks like that technology from The Mandalorian. Oh, gotcha. There must be some similarities between Dark City and, and neo-noir in terms of like the tone and whatnot, but there's, def there's definitely like a mystery here here that he's trying to resolve he's got this obsession the thing about it is in real life just let it go <laughs> just let it go yeah, I mean it's it's one of those things where it's like no there's got to be a reason it's got to be a reason like she, people don't just disappear it's like maybe she didn't want to talk to you anymore yeah it had a, did you ever play uh, Assassin's Creed the first one so the whole idea of Assassin's Creed is like you plug yourself into this technology that takes you back through your genealogy so that you can relive you know things that happened to your family in the past mm -hmm. this stuff is happening in what like the 1920s that's what this character that's what this setting kind of looks like so it's not that's really what I'm saying you are yeah 
you know. So I'm wondering, like, I'm wondering how that how that works and like how real is it? But they did kind of ask that question within the trailer itself. It's like, you know, when is it getting too real? And can you even pull yourself back out? And what are the dangers of maybe possibly even dying and within that dream state? That should all be answered. If you die in the Matrix, you die in the real world. <laughs> uh, this was fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our, our discussion of it. And please make sure to check out Sintel on the social media as well as his YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Sintel. Subscribe here as well. Hit that bell icon, all notifications. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is... It's your boy! Peace out.